you'll find working with text in OneNote is a fun new experience. OneNote has what's called dynamic text. What that means is that you're not limited to where you're putting your text as just starting at the top of the page. OneNote is an open canvas, so I can click anywhere on the page and I can start to type. Once I have my text box there, I'm able to move that text box around wherever I need to put it. That way I'm able to organize my thoughts quite easily. I'm also able to resize my text box. So let's move it back over here and let's say I start adding some more text to my text box. You can see it's kind of growing with me. I'm able to shrink or expand the text box to fit my needs wherever I need to be. OneNote is also great for creating lists. So let's say I'm making a grocery list. I need milk, I need eggs, I need pancakes, pancake mix, I need some fruit, and I need vegetables. My list has been made but now I realize that the fruits and the vegetables are the first thing that I run across within uh, a grocery store. As I move over the top of fruit, you're going to see a little carrot there that I can select. If I click that, I can drag and I can rearrange my text however I want to. I don't even have to copy paste or cut paste. I can just move them back and forth. I'm also able to, if I want, make a checklist for my list by highlighting all of my options and from the home tab and the home ribbon I have what's called a to do tag here. If I click that it will now put a checkbox in the front of each one of these. So as I pick them up in the store I can click in the box and I can change my list or edit my list to show what I've got and what I don't have. Another great option for OneNote is the ability to make a table quickly. You do have the insert table option like you would have within Word or other um, Office products. But if I just start typing, so let's say I need name and I need an address and a phone number. I type name, I hit the tab button, and it starts to make the, the table for me. Once I have all of them that I think I need, if I hit enter, it goes to the next row and my table has started. That's simple. I'm also able to move my table around wherever I need to be. You'll notice that if I click inside of my table that I've created, I now have a table tools layout option. This lets me add rows, delete rows, all of those things.